Hi everyone. Assalamualaikum and selamat sejahtera. I know that you can wait to follow to this lesson. Very good. I like that spirit. Keep it up. My name is Ni Abdullah bin Abdurrahman from SK Jala 4 Bandar Baru Pangi. With me today is Encik Saiful Amri bin Sailan. Our sign language interpreter is from SMPKV Shah Alam. Today, we are going to learn about senses. Please have your pencil, notebook, and textbook ready. Let's begin. Boys and girls, have you ever had a cold? When you have a cold, your sense of smell doesn't not function well. You cannot smell the food. Thus, the food does not taste good. Do you know that we use other senses to identify or clarify objects around us? For example, what will you do if there is a power failure? Yes, we are not able to see in the dark. Can you find a torch or a candle in the dark? We cannot see in the dark, but we still can find the torch. Do you know that we can use our sense of touch to find the torch? Our senses help us to understand what is happening around us. What happens if we lose our senses? What happens if our senses do not function properly? Let's explore more. There are three learning objective for our lesson today. First, you will, will be able to identify the parts of human body which are related to senses. Second, you will be able to classify the objects according to identified characteristics. And third, you will be able to use your senses to identify objects. Let's begin our lesson. Senses, what are they? Senses help us to understand what's happening around us. Senses work together with the body parts to send information to the brain so that we know what's happening around us. We have five senses. Do you know what the five senses are? They are the sense of touch, the sense of smell, the sense of taste, the sense of hearing, and the sense of sight. Can you identify the parts of the body that are related to our senses. 
the parts of our body that are related to our senses are the ears, the eyes, the nose, the tongue, and the skin. Very good. We are able to learn, understand, and experience all the things around us because of our senses. With the help of our ears, we can hear and differentiate the different kinds of sound. Our eyes help us to see different objects, shapes, and colors around us. We smell with our nose. Do you know that the sense of smell is connected to the sense of taste? The tongue helps us to taste different flavors of food. The skin helps us to feel and sense things that are hot, cool, soft, and rough. Which part of our body helps us to hear different types of sound? We hear with our ears. What can we hear? We can hear loud and soft sounds. Let's hear the sound made by the elephant. Let's hear the sound of the drum. Let's hear the sound of the aeroplane. We use our eyes to see. What can we see? We can see things like a bouquet of flowers, a beautiful rainbow, and the colorful balloons. We can see things of different colors, shapes, and sizes using our sense of sight. Ooh, I smell something bad. I smell the smelly garbage with my nose. We smell with our nose. What can we smell? We can smell bad odor like garbage or rotten foods. We, all, we also use our nose to smell nice scents like perfume and roses. This is the tongue. We use the tongue to taste different types of foods. What can we taste? What is the taste of lemon juice? Lemon juice tastes sour. I know you like ice cream. What is the taste of ice cream? Ice cream tastes sweet. Please do not eat too much sweet foods. 
they are not good for your teeth and your health. I don't like coffee because it tastes bitter. Potato chips taste salty. We should not eat too much salty foods. They are bad for our health. We use our hand or skin to touch and feel things. We can touch or feel with our hand and skin. We can touch things that are hard like the bricks and stones. We can touch things that are soft like the towels and pillows. When we touch an ice cube, it feels cool. We must not touch the fire because it is hot. The skin helps us to identify the things that we touch hard, soft, cool, and hot. Sensors can be used to identify and classify objects. Look at these pictures. There are several types of fruits. How will you classify these fruits? Can you give me some suggestions? There is something inside this box. I am not allowed to open the box and take a look at what is inside it. I have to guess what is inside the box. Can you help me to solve this problem? Very good, that is correct. I can use my other senses such as the sense of hearing, the sense of touch, or the sense of smell to guess what is inside the box. Then, I can make a good guess of the thing that is inside the box. All right, boys and girls, let's play a game to check what have we learned today. Which of your senses will you use to listen to your favorite song? Yes, we use our sense of hearing. Which of your senses would you use to tell the color of the dress? All right, we use our sense of sight. Which of your senses would you use to tell that someone is very perfume. Very good. We use our sense of smell. Which of your senses would you use to tell that the radio is playing too loud? Good job. We use our sense of hearing. Which of your senses would you use to feel if the teddy bear is soft or hard? Excellent! The sense of touch. 
which of your sensors would you use to check if the chips are spicy or sour? Great! The sense of taste. Now you know your five sensors. They are the parts of the human body related to senses. These five senses make our life easier and more comfortable. Use your senses to keep you safe. Boys and girls, we have to be grateful because our senses allow us to experience all the good things in life. So, please appreciate them and use them in a good way. See you in the next lesson. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.